got on two chains. No way. What is going on, guys? We're doing a little skin review here. It's we're here with Code and Blackfist and me, Sniper Hawk. What we're reviewing here is a 5.7 case hardened with about like a 25 to 30 percent float, just because the middle part there when he inspects that. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna say the float value about that is probably like a five. Now this 5.7 right here is a lot better. It's 75% uh, blue, uh, a little bit of purple and orange. It's 11 to 15 keys for trading and all that. Has a purple on the right side of it. And yeah, the front is pretty blank, but everything else is golden. So this is a this is a Glock 18 fade. It's a very good, very expensive uh, Glock 18 skin. Uh, it can go for about 150 to 200 keys. Uh, we got this on CSGOWild.com, plus a few other knives and skins that we will be reviewing in this uh, episode. All right, so we there's only currently 12 on the market at the time. There's 11 factory new, one minimal wear. The factory new price of the ones that are on the market are 257 up. For the only one minimal wear, there's like it's about $300. Um, some other ways that you could get this as other than buying it off the market or winning it from a jackpot website um there's many other ways to get this skin like we have ourselves so we just won this as well in the same pot as the um glock fade cool. Like we did, we uh, get really lucky in the CSGOWild.com. Uh, you can as well, that's why you should always check it out. It's a very good website. Uh, yeah. And it's ice and fire, it's very well uh, looking here. Uh, some ice and fires, depending on this one, since the tip has a little bit of yellow on the play side, it won't be as much as normal ice and fires would be. But uh, it'd probably be about like 150 keys, maybe up, uh, depending on what the marble fade is, as like ice and fire or just the default marble fade. Alright, here we have a Statrack Flip Knife Doppler Phase 2. Market price would be about 195 for factory new. It is approximately about 78 keys or more depending on the phase. Um, this is another Statrack knife that we won from CSGO Wild. Uh, any stat track knife that we usually get, if we get lucky of winning a jackpot, we usually get it to 1337. That's the main number. And after this knife, we have one more to show you guys. This is a pretty old knife that we've, uh, this is also the last knife that we're going to be reviewing today. It is a stat track uh, Crimson Web M9 bayonet. Also worked up to 1337 kills from uh, grinding CSGO and getting some knife kills, which we are good at. And yeah, and it's very well uh, looking. It's about factory new, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, it's a very nice skin, and yeah, we also, also, um, you should always bet on those websites like CSGO Wild and stuff if you, uh, have the money, because it is so much fun, and you will definitely have a chance of getting some of these good knives. Also, the, about the market price, since this is factory new, the field tested one is... 236 going up in price depending on the way on how many webs it has on the well-worn is 248 well 243 my bad for the factory new since it's about probably 200 plus and it has lots of webs it'd be 120 keys or more Thank you guys for watching this, uh, the second episode of this Elite Skin Review. It's been Blackfist Club. And Sniperhawk. And Code. And Code, yes. Uh, we'll see you guys later in the next episode.